Hey, it's Joe Amoya, founder and creator of the GPSforlove.com. You ever been involved with a guy where you thought he was the one, where everything appeared to be great in the beginning, but then all of a sudden you realize that he just wasn't what you were looking for? He wasn't really relationship material? Well, today we're going to talk about how to recognize if a guy is really relationship ready and relationship material. You know, one of the things I hear all the time from the members of our community is how do you know? How do you really know? Well, I believe that there are signs, there are always signs, but you gotta know what to look for. See, part of the problem is we get so excited, our hormones start getting, start raging in the beginning, and we go, oh, he's great, we have such wonderful chemistry, ah, right? But then you realize that the guy's an asshole, okay? He's not who you thought he was. Well, that's part of the good news, is that because we know sometimes what we see isn't what we always get. So today we're gonna talk about the KLT factor. The KLT, the KLT factor are the three things that you must see and you must know, which will let you know that a guy is really relationship material. So we're gonna take them one at a time. So KLT stands for knowing, liking, and trusting. Okay, if you don't know who a guy really is, you don't like who a guy really is, and you can't trust that guy, well, guess what? Not the kind of guy you wanna be in a relationship with. Now, I know this is common sense, but as they say, common sense isn't so common. And I bet if you look at your love life and the choices and decisions you've made, you see that common sense didn't really work in your favor. And that's okay. We've all done it. I've done some really stupid things in my life. The key is that we want to learn, learn from them. So step number one, you got to know who a guy is. See, going out on a date, you know, having this amazing chemistry and then jumping into a relationship is it really a smart thing to do? And we've all done it. You know, I've done it numerous times. But I say it's a lot like running across the highway without looking. It might seem exciting and fun, but most of the time, more often than not, you're gonna get crushed. So before you jump into a relationship with a guy, take your time, date him, get to know him, and really see, is this the kind of person that you're looking for? The kind of person that you can successfully have a relationship with? And I promise you, if you do just that, that's gonna weed out more than 50% of the guys. And the second part is liking. Do you really like this guy? All of him, not just parts of him, because let's be honest, you wouldn't be with a guy if you didn't like some of the things about him. But having a successful relationship doesn't is more than just liking some of a guy. It's about liking all of who he is, the good and the bad, because we all have sides that you know don't work for us, that we don't like. And so it's about liking and accepting 100% of who he is. Because lady, this, this is how it works. What you see is what you get. If you think he's going to magically change or you think you can put up with it and deal with it, this is where you got to be really honest with yourself. Because the reality is people don't change unless they want to change and they do the work to change. And trust me, I study human behavior intensely. Those two factors are important. But even if a person wants to change and tries to change, and there's a part of them unconsciously that doesn't want to change because it's meeting their needs, then you know what? They ain't going to change. So my big philosophy is find a guy that doesn't have to change, that who gives you what you're looking for right from the get-go. So that's the second factor, liking. And the third one is a huge one, and that's trusting. Can you really trust this guy? Now, again, in the beginning, he's going to say and do all the right things okay, to make it appear that you can trust him. But this is why you date, because his real self will emerge. He'll show you exactly who he is. He'll show you if he's trustworthy. You know, I see it from all, all the time from some of the women that I mentor is that, you know, they're with a guy and from day one, he shows consistently and it never goes away. Or it goes the opposite way where, you know, the guy says and does all the right thing. And relatively quickly, the red flags start popping up. And so if there are red flags that start popping up, you got to pay attention. And again, don't focus on the chemistry. Don't focus on the good. Recognize the bad because that's the stuff that's going to bite you in the butt in the long run. So let's review okay? because this is really important. If you're going to get into a relationship with a guy, you got to make sure that he's got the KLT factor. And that's that you can know him, know who he really is, 
like who he really is, and that you're able to trust him consistently throughout time. And I promise you, if you're dating a guy and you see that, you know what, this guy does have the KLT factor, you've got a great chance of having a great relationship. So what I'd like you to do now is I like to, to look back over those past relationships, be, again, because that's where we learn. We learn from our past. You know, I don't think anything's a mistake. I call them expensive learning lessons. So I want you to go back over those past relationships and see where things went wrong for you. You know, the guys that you were involved with, where you thought that were the ones in the beginning, what was missing? Was it the K? You know, did it, was it that you didn't really know him? You jumped into a relationship. Was it the L? Is that, you know, there were parts of him from the beginning that said, you know, I don't really like that part and you thought you could live with it. Or was it the T? You know, were there parts of him that showed you from the beginning that he couldn't be trusted? Or did he show you in the beginning that he could be trusted? And then relatively quickly, a part of him showed up that showed you that you couldn't. Again, this is how you're going to learn. As always, I love to hear from you. Love your questions. Love your feedback. And if there's anything I can do, know that I'm here for you. I'll see you next time. Much love.